Welcome back. Chef Nick Liu joins me now to make wild leek Korean noodles for our daily dish. And if you're wondering just how wild those wild leeks are, well, he foraged them himself. Let's take a look. So every spring, this is my favorite time of year. We get out into the forest. We're at March Mushrooms right now, and we do some foraging. And um, we're just going to go and pick wild, wild leeks today. So there's some right there. They're pretty easy to see because they're a little bit higher than everything else, um, like on this, uh, on the ground. Okay, so these are wild leeks, and these are a great size. So these are actually perfect for what we're looking for. And the way you want to pick these is uh, just stick your uh, shovel down and uh, get right underneath because you don't really want to break the bulbs. And then I loosen up the soil, brush off some of that debris, and then we got all the wild leeks right here. And these are beautiful. These are the green parts, which we love to saute. And then the uh, bulb here, these are still young bulbs, so they'll get a little bit bigger as the year goes. Um, but this is a great starting point. So this is the first pick, and this is exactly the size of the bulb that I'm looking for around this time of year. So because they're a, a bulbous plant, um, they grow underneath the ground and the rhizomes spread around. Um, if you take all of the plants, right, and take all of the roots, right, there's not going to be any for next year. So they'll keep on growing as long as you only take half the amount that you see. Um, if you're not looking for the bulb and you just want to take some of the greens, you can take some scissors and you can just cut just above that bulb. And this will keep growing. This is actually a really great way, right, to keep the sustainability of these growing through many, many years. And so the reason why I like coming out here to pick them is because you're never gonna get them as fresh as they are but right from the ground. All right, so we got all these beautiful leeks. We're gonna take them back to die low. We're gonna cook them up and make a beautiful noodle dish. Just thinking of how many more vegetables my kids would eat if they had to go forage for them themselves. Uh, how do we start the recipe? Okay, so I'm gonna start the recipe off. It's really important to, to get your noodles uh, de uh, rehydrated. Uh, so they're gonna come dry like this, and you're just gonna put some hot water on top, so some boiling water, and you're gonna let them hydrate. And you really wanna do this about an hour before you start. Um, so I've already got some noodles already hydrated, so we're just gonna let those ones go. Um, and we're gonna drain these out uh, in a colander, and just let all that water drain off and get rid of the water. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our sauce. And the sauce consists of some sesame oil, which is really delicious, got some nutty flavors. And I'm just gonna throw it in a jar or a bowl. I like to put it in a jar so I can really mix it up. I've got some Ninja Chef uh, caramelized soy glaze. If you don't have this, you can get this at my restaurant at Dilo. If you don't have it, you can use just regular uh, sweet uh, soy. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a sweet tamari, right? So it's gluten-free. And I've got some regular tamari. Uh, we're going to throw that in there and some black pepper and that's going to give it some nice kind of peppery flavors which is really great for Korean. Um, so the second thing we're going to do and this is a really easy dish so this is the reason why I kind of chose this one is uh, we're going to come over to our wok and we're going to get this heat all the way up. I've got some sesame oil. I want a lot of sesame oil in there and we're going to start with some garlic and just cook a little bit of that garlic out. Couple seconds and then we're good for our onions. And when you're cooking with the wok, you always want to use high heat. This is the most important part and that you can just smell all the flavors coming out of here. Well, I could smell and it if you were with me in the studio, <laughs> chef. So maybe we can make that happen at I some know, point. But in terms of recipes, Tracy, I, wish I, was there. I know it's going to happen. In terms of recipes, you can actually like get together on a weeknight. Would you recommend this one? Is it a quickie? I would definitely recommend this uh, this recipe because it's very quick. It's very easy. It just takes a little bit of high heat and a little bit of uh, wild leeks. So I got my um, celery in there. It's been julienned, and you just want to saute that for a couple of minutes. 
And uh, I've got my peppers. I've got my carrots. And once again, we're just going to let that saute for a few minutes, literally like one or two minutes, right? Because we don't want to overcook anything. And every single time you put something in the pan, you, you always got to season, right? Season with salt. I can get behind that. This is what you call layering your flavors. That's right. And um, I've, got, I've got my mushrooms, which I'm going to throw in there, and then my wild leeks. So my wild leeks, I'm just going to cut the ends into like about an inch, and then the greens, just one cut, and these are going into my pan, and we're going to saute that off. The green parts really kind of cook down very quickly, almost like spinach, right? So once it hits the pan and, and gets a little bit of heat, it really kind of uh, starts wilting very quickly. So I'm going to take my vegetables out right now because I want to put Kelby beef in my uh, noodles. And I'm going to use that same pan. I'm going to take my Kelby and throw that in my pan and just give that a nice little sear. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so probably about like one or two minutes. It's very thinly cut. Uh, you can buy it pre-marinated, and uh, stuff is so delicious. I know it is. It is so good. I was hoping you were going to put that in as well. So if you want to keep the kalbi out, I mean, maybe you're a vegetarian. This is a vegetarian dish without the beef, right? It's definitely a, a vegetarian dish, and it is just as delicious, and it's healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my noodles in right now and get my sauce going. Yeah. Throw my sauce in there. And we're just going to give that all a nice toss. And that flavor is just going to go all the way in there. It's all looking beautiful. Those colors are amazing. And I'm just going to put this on a plate. Oh, I've also got some... Um, these are fiddleheads I also picked. Oh, I'm yeah. going to throw these guys in as well. Nice. Why just not? Because. Just yeah, because. Yeah, tis the season, Why right? Not? Oh, that looks good. And there you go. And I'm going to just put some, uh, some coriander leaves on here nice. just to show that color off. <clears throat> some, uh, some chili on there, too. And then we're just going to finish it off with some sesame seeds. Oh, that's and beautiful. this is going to be such a beautiful, tasty, and healthy. And uh, yeah, please enjoy. All right, folks, you, you need to try weeks. that recipe, and you have to try some foraging, I think. You can find the recipe up on cityline.tv, everyone.